As y'all might be able to tell by the calendar, tomorrow, May 10th at noon Pacific, we have a new legend, a 97 overall new legend coming in that chase pack set two. In the comment section, two things. Number one, who do you think that new legend is going to be? Who do you want it to be? Maybe that's the same answer. And then also in the comment section, maybe guys that you think deserve upgrades in that next roster update coming on May 13th. Leave your predictions, hopes, people you think deserve upgrades down in that comment section. But I really in this video just want to go over what's coming tomorrow as well as later this week. Think about who that new legend could be, who it's probably not going to be stuff like that so today's video is just kind of focusing on content coming tomorrow as well as later this week so i feel like the best way for us to do it is probably to go ahead and just go in order so literally the first thing coming tomorrow at least according to the calendar we have a new legend look out for a 97 overall player in chase pack set two so what i'm wondering first of all and my initial thoughts Chase set one, I believe it is that award series, Albert Pujols, and then the prospect Julio Rodriguez. If I'm not mistaken, those are the two cards from Chase Pack set one. And I'm wondering, are those going to now not be available in Chase Packs? With the Chase Pack set two, will they be more likely? Will the price of Albert and Rodriguez, I don't know what Rodriguez is. I know Albert is pretty expensive. I actually kind of want to, while we're here, just go see the market and see what he's at just to kind of realize. Yeah, so he's right around 90 to 110,000 stubs. And I'm wondering tomorrow because he's available. He's one of these set one Chase Pack cards. He's the main one. He's the higher overall in that. I'm wondering when we get those Chase Pack set twos, the set two Chase Packs, Will it say on them under the odds or description, maybe increased chances to find set one players or will these set one players just move into normal packs? Because as you might know, headliner diamonds, for example, when it's no longer current in those headliners, people are still pulling those cards from just normal ball impacts twitch drop packs standard packs whatever it may be people are still pulling those headliners so i'm wondering if that's going to be where this albert card and that julio rodriguez card are available or if they're going to have better odds now in the chase pack because it's set two so maybe it's easier to find these cards and then the 97 will be the rare one i really don't know I have no idea. Maybe if you have any thoughts and or hopes, let us know in the comment section. But I'm really curious to see how they end up doing it because that's got me wondering. Now for who the new legend could be, right? It's a 97 overall, so I feel like it's got to be a pretty good legend. I think it was maybe leaked earlier in the year that Carlos Delgado is going to be a new legend. But we haven't seen any Carlos Delgado cards or anything like that. And I feel like he had a good enough career, or at least points in his career where he would pretty much easily be deserving of a 97 overall if i'm not mistaken so maybe that new legend is going to be delgado and this is where i want to say it's probably not going to be a big big name right like Derek jeter let's see barry bonds alex rodriguez um, I'm trying to think of some other big names that I see requested a lot. The biggest one is obviously Derek Jeter and I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive. It's not going to be one of those huge, huge names because in my opinion, somebody like Derek Jeter or Alex Rodriguez coming back to the game, right? Those are legends that people really, really want to see. I feel like guys like that will probably end up being announced before a new game launches because I think guys, especially Jeter, his name has such a familiarity a popularity whatever you want to use to describe it I, I truly feel like someone like Derek Jeter would probably increase sales for the game and I'm not saying somebody like Carlos Delgado won it I just feel like somebody like Jeter might be on another level compared to some other guys so just maybe when you're thinking about who that new legend could be just keep in mind that they have to be good enough to have a 97 overall card and then it's got to be somebody where they're not super, super famous like Derek Jeter, where they probably would have been able to sell tons of copies when they was announced that that player was going to be in the game. But I could be completely wrong. That's just the way my brain is thinking about it. I really don't know. Either way, I'm excited. I can't wait for that. We should have a video going over all the stuff that comes out tomorrow, specifically those, though. 
once it does come out. Also coming tomorrow, new spotlight moments. Earn XP by completing new moments in the featured program. And then later this week, we have the Moonshot event number two. It's back again. Who makes your lineup? That's coming on Thursday at noon pacific i would assume with different rewards than the first one i'd be surprised if they brought back the other ones y'all might remember on that first one it said moonshot weekend one or something it was like moonshot event one so i'm guessing this is going to be moonshot event two and it will probably have its own rewards i'm interested to see who those rewards are if it's one two maybe more but i'm curious to see what that is i'm excited i always enjoy the moonshot event a little bit and then finally at least the last bit of content that's on the calendar on friday we got two little bullet points i guess technically four bullet points but two little spaces on the calendar the first one says more content other program with packs and a legend hitter now that's not going to be a new legend that's going to be somebody we already know that's in the game i think it should be different than what's coming tomorrow but another program with packs and a legend hitter so it sounds like we're getting a player program maybe a city connect jersey program but I, it's sounding to me like maybe it's just going to be its own player program maybe one of the first of the year and then we have tops now players and moments as well as headliner set 13 and pretty big news in my opinion double xp because i don't know about y'all but with not a lot of time left in this program a little bit less than two weeks i'm kind of far behind at least for what's available right i'm at 168,000, and it goes all the way up to 750,000. so i don't know about y'all but for me that double XP is going to come in handy. I'm, I'm honestly really looking forward to that, grinding a little bit more once that comes out. And then also on Friday, the last bit of new content, and this is why I was talking about at the beginning. I'm hoping in the comment section we could see some predictions or guys that you think are deserving of upgrades. We have our second, our next roster update of the year with player attribute upgrades as well as downgrades. You guys know in my predictions, I really fo only focus on the upgrades. I don't typically focus on the downgrades. So in the comment section, if you're leaving predictions, if you want me to maybe include them in my video, I'm only going to be focusing on the upgraded players. And I'm usually not focused on guys who are already diamonds. I usually only focus on mainly golds and silvers, but also sometimes some bronzes and commons as well. But almost never diamonds, unless it's going from like a low to mid diamond to a high diamond, right? Something like that is one. Maybe I'll include them because I feel like that could actually have an impact on their price. I think we saw, I don't know about Arenado's price, but... Uh, for sure, Jose Ramirez, his price went up at least 20,000 stubs from being an 88 to now a 90 or 91, whatever he got upgraded to. But it's going to be a big week. I feel like we have a lot of stuff coming this week. I'm excited to see who that new legend is coming tomorrow. The spotlight moments are going to be nice for me to get some extra XP for the program because I feel behind. Moonshot event with some new diamond rewards on Thursday and then on Friday at noon Pacific again tops now looks like a new player program headliner set 13 double xp starts and then also a new roster update and i wouldn't be surprised if there's something else right another conquest map i don't know about a showdown but it seems like there's always something on fridays that is not included in the calendar that maybe just gives some extra bonuses or something like that and then if i had to guess on friday we'll also see an updated calendar that's probably going to talk about a new br program i don't know about new rank season just yet but it should have some new stuff coming for the future so that's what's to look out for later this week specifically tomorrow as well i'm excited i hope y'all are too i can't wait to see what you think down in that comment section i'm honestly really hoping that the chase pack set two has increased odds for the set one guys because i need albert's price to go down i know i have have enough subs to buy them but i'm trying to get those live series collections done first and i feel like by the time i'm able to afford that card i'm not going to want to use them compared to some of the other guys that i have so we'll see what happens but i'll see you next time like comment subscribe all that good stuff hope you have a great day thank you as always for watching peace out